welcome to this week's weekly roundup. We're back in my office instead of at the Benson Family Fun Square, but holy cats, you guys. Was that not amazing? Like, I, I think we've all been riding kind of high all week on the energy and enthusiasm and just community that we experienced on Saturday. So thank you to everyone for joining us, for celebrating with us. Um, thank you to our vendors and volunteers and our contractors and our city team. It was, the, I keep saying it was magic. Like the day was just so perfect and such um, such a nice cap and beginning to so much work and so much opportunity for the city. So uh, thank you everyone for joining us on Saturday. And if you haven't um, seen it, we've announced our Sounds of Summer concert series. They're doing Thursday Night Live and then Saturday I think is uh, Beats and Brews, which I'm a sucker for good alliteration. So uh, beats and brews on Saturday and then we are also um, reaching out to our community if you're a vendor or a musician or you want to sponsor or you just want to be involved in the square in some way check out our social media there's a nice post there that has information on how to contact us so that we can continue to grow and program the Benson Family Town Square and I have heard from so many people seen so many photos driven by myself um, the square has been packed and that's exactly what we envisioned. And I will tell you, we envision this as an economic development opportunity. And I've gone into businesses downtown, not when I was at the square, and could very easily tell people came from the square. They were in their swimming suits or their hair was wet. So it is, it is doing what we hoped it would, and I am positive that that will continue. Not as exciting as the square, but also important, is our road construction update. So on North 4th Street, we are still doing some concrete pours on the private side lead service line um, sidewalk squares. We're also doing catch basins and ramps, so we do still have that portion of road closed. We tried opening it, uh, but there was just too much traffic, and we want to make sure that our crews are safe, and so we have that uh, closed down as we continue that work. The work on Washington Street is continuing. The contractor um, is going to add some water to the streets to keep the dust down and keep those streets uh, sweeped. So we'll be doing that today. Um, this is a new one. So Eastgate Drive um, by Summit Avenue Highway 16, we are going to be doing a culvert replacement there next week. So there will be a press release coming out, but just for your awareness, Eastgate Drive around Summit Avenue Highway 16, we'll be doing some culvert work. And then we did complete a mill and overlay on that section of Fountain Street. More mill and overlay projects will come. Once we do that mill and overlay, we don't um, instantly put the pavement marking back. So the center line or side lines, we bring that contractor in just once or twice a season. So please be careful as you maneuver through those newly um, paved areas and be mindful of those traditional uh, lines on the roadway. Uh, important updates for next week. So garbage and recycling. We are not doing garbage or recycling pickup on Monday, May 29th for Memorial Day. That will be on Tuesday and we'll also do Tuesday's route on Tuesday. So what that means is we are um, taking our trucks and those trucks and those uh, team members of ours will be out on Tuesday doing those double routes which means we will have limited capacity for drop-off of extra garbage and recycling or construction debris in the, in the yard. So if, if you have that and you're looking at doing it on Tuesday, I'd encourage you just to call the street department first to save yourself packing everything up just to make sure we have a team member there to accommodate you. And Yardway site is open tomorrow, Saturday, the 27th from 9 to 1, but it's closed on Monday, the 29th. So please make arrangements accordingly. I wanted to provide a handful of updates on some of our economic development work. One is obviously housing. Uh, we've been talking about a variety of different housing projects throughout the community. A lot of those are still progressing. I wanted to thank those people who joined uh, us on Thursday night. I think we had over 75 people that were there and provided valuable feedback for the Southwest Neighborhood Conceptual Plan. We have already met with the foundation and all, everyone on the team that's working on that to kind of review the feedback and get that incorporated. So that work is happening. Um, as we speak, the next thing on that will be they will come and do some city meetings. So there will be some city steps that will happen. Uh, the next public facing thing will probably be in the matter of a month or two, and that will be um, at our plan commission meeting. So watch our public meeting notice for information. Speaking of housing, there was an incredible housing summit last week, and our uh, media and productions team produced uh, that event, and the video is available out on YouTube. So if you're interested in a lot of data and information, and insights around housing in the Jefferson County region, I'd encourage you to check that out. On the child care front, this week our finance committee approved um, the contract allocation of our ARPA dollars to be the one of the first in this state to lead the way on municipalities, partnering with nonprofits and child care centers, pro, uh, partnering with our business community to merge this new model of employer-sponsored child care. And I am so proud of the work that we're doing. We know that child care is a key barrier to workforce availability, and we're proud to be using our ARPA dollars to support that work. 
we will be hosting the Department of Children and Families executive team in early June. Um, they're interested in knowing this and other work that we're doing in support of children and families here in Wisconsin and in Watertown. And what that tells me is that we are, you know, really doing a good job of hearing the needs and meeting our community at those needs the best that we can. So I'm proud of us uh, for that. We know that that allocation is investing in early care professionals by paying them a better wage and providing better benefits. It's allowing us to engage employers in being a partner in the, the cost of child care. Um, we're doing some data sharing, which is very difficult in government agencies our size to be able to do. And then we're working um, and committing to increasing the number of infant and toddler seats, which is a big need here in our community. Uh, we are also still working on commercial and industrial land. We're working on a couple of restaurant projects. A couple of hotel projects are kind of, one is a little bit deeper, one is very conceptual at this point, but we're working at the things we hear from you. And so I, it's hard to provide updates on them because so much of it's confidential and Honestly, it takes years to bring to fruition, but I want you to know that they, uh, those ideas are still ones we're working on uh, every single week. Next thing is the station. So we have been working um, for a long time, as you know, on interior kind of space needs inside the station. This week we got to work on the outside. So it was exciting to finally see a rendering um, of the exterior of the building. And um, we're gonna keep refining that. I suspect we will have a rendering to show the public in a matter of a few weeks. Um, we have just some minor tweaks to the last version they gave us and then we should have something to share. So it was, um, it was good to be at that position. And what we'll also start doing uh, this week is provide, or in the coming weeks is providing photos of um, our current station and what a modern fire station would look like with that same space. So what, for example, we, where we store our turnout gear, where you would store turnout gear in a modern fire station. We just wanna be able to give the public um, a, a good image of what that should look like versus what we have now, just to help continue to educate on the needs for the station. Uh, on the recreation front, there are a couple things happening. We have the tree planting program, and this is kind of the time of year to um, engage in that. So again, that's $100. We plant the tree um, on city property. There's a list of species and rec dust that you can pick from. Uh, they're also doing yoga, tree climbing, which is next Tuesday. So make sure if you want to be a part of that, you register quickly. Um, and then I do want to mention, we will very likely be having um, a special finance committee meeting because it's a fifth week um, to talk about the Riverside Park walls and footbridges. So if this is a topic of interest for you, please make sure you watch our Facebook page and our city website and all the places we publicly notice those meetings so that you can participate in that. We'll have virtual and in person as an option for that. This week was two important weeks here at the city. It's obviously um, EMS week and we are so incredibly thankful um, for our team here at the city, at the fire department, who just does an incredible job of serving this community and taking care of us all in our time of need and in preparation for our time of need as well. So please make sure you thank um, a firefighter paramedic this week. And then it is also National Public Works Week and we have a massive team of people that provide a ton of important services throughout a variety of different divisions that make sure that we have safe roads, safe water, uh, clean uh, parks, that we have clean buildings, so many different um, ways that our public works team helps to keep this community thriving. So please also thank them when you see them. I've heard it's supposed to be nice this weekend, which is fabulous. Obviously, I'm gonna encourage you to make sure you hit up the Benson Family Town Square, but there are so many things happening. I saw Watertown Tourism is advertising someone else's program, I think through the county for kayak rentals for free. So you could check that out. I do wanna mention um, we are doing um, the Memorial Day ceremony this year is going to be a bit different. They're just um, hosting the event at Veterans Park. So that's at 10 a.m. on Memorial Day at Veterans Park. I would encourage everyone to come um, and join us in commemorating this important holiday. And then next week on May 30th is the Art Walk, which is just a really neat event to have in the downtown. They're doing Chalk the Walk, which is sidewalk chalking on May 30th. And then I know they're also hosting some events at the square, I think from four to six, some children's activities and music. So a lot happening in the community this weekend. I just encourage you to get out, support our businesses, support our community, and have a good weekend. We'll see you next week.